shocking incident. <clears throat> it's a little after three in the morning. <sighs> it means I have to go to a purge. I don't want to. It just sucks. Middle of the night. It was really bad. I'm just frustrated because I have to go through a merge. I can't go directly to labor and delivery yet because I'm not quite 20 weeks. I'm like three days away. And I just, I'm so frustrated. Cold just woke up. Well, this is a lovely view. <laughs> um, I went to the emergency room last night. Uh, and it was the longest wait I had experienced. Um, we got there at about 4.30 in the morning and didn't leave till 9 a.m. The doctor on call, there was only one, and he didn't know how to use, I guess, the ultrasound machine or else he wanted me to actually have a real formal ultrasound done. So I had one done um, with an actual ultrasound tech. And they didn't open until 7 a.m. Uh, and or maybe it was they initially said seven, may have been eight. Um, but anyways, and then it took forever to get the doctor to read the results because he was just dealing with other people. But um, the baby is fine, and that's just the relief, like such a relief that the baby is okay, because that's all I seem to really care about. Like I honestly, I feel very good. Um, <clears throat> you know, just really tired from having three hours of sleep last night. Um, I did come home and my mother-in-law was with me. Um, Shane had just left to go to his place in Southern Ontario <clears throat> to pick up all of his stuff. And the miracle of it all was is that he actually texted me just minutes before everything happened. Um, so he was awake, like he is on third shift. So he texted me at like three in the morning and um, so I was able to talk to him. He felt horrible. He'd been at a friend's house and he immediately basically got up to keep driving to his house um, to pick up his stuff. He was gonna work for two days and then come home Saturday. But he, um, I'm still not sure what the plan is. He had planned to come home but at this point really there isn't much he could do except accompany me to the hospital um, because someone needs to be here with the kids so I don't know <clears throat> we're unsure he wants to be here but it may just work out that it's probably a little better for him to work the two days um, so I'm in bed I had a good rest it's about three o'clock 3.30 in the afternoon, had some lunch. My mother-in-law's with the kids and they're at the park playing with Silly String. Um, so I'm probably going to take a few days break here, um, not posting anything. I'm just going to rest and kind of veg out and concentrate on just rest. My phone keeps running out of storage. Um, anyways, I know you guys understand. I'm just going to lay low for a little bit and, uh, I will check in with you guys soon. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's where I kind of post the most. And yeah, anyways, thank you guys for your prayers and for um, just being you. I appreciate you so much. And thank you for sharing in my story with me. Bye.